The number 10 spot belongs to Bath Haverling running back Andre McLeod. The Rams senior entered the season looking to become the school's all-time leading rusher, and he did just that, finishing his career with 4,366 yards. For number 9, we revisit this magical play from Super Bowl 42. Eli Manning escapes the rush, gets it downfield to David Tyree, who catches it on his helmet. That play helped lead the Giants to their first Super Bowl title since 1990. The 2008 Corning Classic comes in at number 8. Erica Blasberg dominated the first three rounds of play, but fell apart on Sunday, opening the door for Lita Lindley and Zhang Zhang. 72 holes wasn't enough to decide it, but it took just one hole for Lindley to get her first career victory in a sudden death playoff. At number 7 is the Jackals, game one of their first playoff series as an ECHL team against Reading. We're scoreless until late in the third when Bruce Watson helps put it home and gives the Jackals the 1-0 win. Elmira would go on to lose the series but managed to win over thousands of fans in their first season in the league. For number six, we head to the house that Ruth built. On Sunday, September 21st, the Yanks beat the Orioles 7-3, saying goodbye to their stadium in the process. The historic ballpark was home to the Bronx Bombers for 85 years and 26 World Series titles. Number five comes to us from Watkins Glen. Nobody really likes Kyle Busch, but he put on a show at this year's Centurion Boats at the Glen. The young gun led 52 of 90 laps, earning what would be the last of his eight wins in 2008. Rewinded a month for number four. Not many people had heard of Ryan Hunter Ray coming into July's Camping World Grand Prix, but he made a name for himself in upstate New York. Ray won his first career race on a late restart and went on to earn five top ten finishes in the season's final seven events. Number three belongs to the Cornell Big Red. The Ivy Leaguers went undefeated in conference play, winning their first Ivy League title since 1988 and earning a first round NCAA tournament date with Stanford. Number two can be found at Carl Van Norman Field. After a two-year hiatus, football returned to the hills of Mansfield. The Mountaineers won just one game this season, but more importantly, brought football back to a town that was home to the first ever night football game 116 years ago. But without question, number one is shared by three schools. Corning West, Bath Haverling, and Elmira Notre Dame each rode a magical wave all season to the state semis in classes A, B, and C. May have been disappointing, but the ride for all three schools was something neither the players, coaches, or myself will ever forget.